story I heard on the way over here tonight. Yeah, that's it. A cute little story. Seems there was this tax lawyer who specialized in corporate pension plans. <laughs> Anyhow, after he died, there was chiseled on his tombstone. <laughs> yes? The Tranquil Mario Alonso. You want me to wait? I want you to leave. <laughs> Come on, Judge Franklin, don't bust my help. I need your help. <laughs> Mario, I'm very busy. I'm writing a very important speech. What is it? Well, you know, of course, that I teach a law class at the night school. No, I didn't know that. Thanks for the information. Have a nice day. <laughs> well, I can't teach my class this week, mm -hmm. and I would like you to take over for me. You teach law. What's the name of this law school? Ed's. <laughs> Ed's Law School? <laughs> Well, that's just what the students call it. Actually, it's the Emanuel Edwards School of Law. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I think, uh, I think I'll pass on this one, Mario. Well, my students are really getting tired of me. I think they need a break. How do you know? Well, there was some shooting. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Here's your newspaper and your change. I didn't want that nickel, Miss Rubner. That's a tip for the newsboy. I don't believe in tipping people just because they're handicapped. <laughs> Hey, come on and do it, Judge. It's just Tuesday and Wednesday night. Ah, Tuesday night I'm speaking to the graduating law class at my alma mater, the University of Pennsylvania, an accredited school. You haven't been asked to speak this year. It's just a mere formality, Miss Rubner. You know that. I speak there every year. Not this year. I got somebody else. Who? Someone of national repute. Who? Berger? Rehnquist? Bette Midler. <laughs> Bette Midler? Okay, that settles it. You'll come. I'm very flattered, Mario, but if I wanted to teach law, I'd teach at Harvard or Yale, not Ed's. Yeah, but I bet they wouldn't be hanging from the rafters to hear you talk at Yale. Well, I guess if Bet can go to Penn, I can go to Ed. Great! I'll call the school. This will be a major coup for us. They'll be standing room only. Do you realize that you don't even need to be a high school graduate to get into that law school? You just don't turn your back on your fans, Miss Rubner. These people want Walter Franklin. They need Walter Franklin. What choice have I got? Hello? No, Mr. Lonza just left. Yes, I'll take the message. Take this down. Maury Capehart can't do it. <laughs> Must settle for Franklin. <laughs> so I've got it. All right, thank you. Uh, one question. Who is Maury Capehart? I see. Thank you. Well? Maury Capehart is the only Ed's Law School graduate ever to pass the Pennsylvania bar exam. <laughs> Coming through, coming through. Come on, give us some room here. I reserve the seat for you. Very thoughtful of you. Now, settle down and pay attention. <clears throat> That's better. Now, as promised, in substitute for me tonight, a man who needs no introduction. <laughs> a 
It looks as though he's not going to get one. <laughs> Among the things that Mr. Lanza forgot to mention is my name, which is Franklin, Walter O. Franklin, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. Well, I'm going to be your instructor for the next two sessions, so why don't we get down to business? Anybody have any questions? Where's my key part? <laughs> okay, that's a start. And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> any other questions? You a relative of Mari's? <laughs> no. So why are you here? I was, I was asked to speak here. I'm, I'm a judge. How much does a judge make? My salary is a matter of public record. Yeah, but what is, is it? What, what, is it pretty good or what? Yes, it's adequate. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so like, what? what it, <clears throat> they, uh, they start me off at what you get? You want to be a judge? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I got, I got a lot of irons in the fire right now. <laughs> Well, I think there'll be plenty of time for that decision after you become an attorney. Well, you mean like a lawyer? <laughs> yes, just like a lawyer. I really do think you should practice law a couple of years before you go on the bench. Really? Yeah. It sounds hard. It is. <laughs> yeah, the hell with it. <laughs> Your Honor. Yes? How important is the reputation of the law school you attend? Ah, well... The law firm I was with, for example, would hire the one or two top students from Penn and Temple every year. But well, what about Emmanuel Edwards? Well, we, we didn't know about Maury Capehart. <laughs> yes? Would you mind if I had my sandwich now? I didn't have any dinner. <laughs> By all means, eat. <laughs> Are there any more questions? Yes. Judge, I'd like to know if there's any way I can keep my ex-wife from getting half my inheritance from the Howard Hughes estate. <laughs> you did say the Howard Hughes estate. Mr. Hughes. <laughs> any relation? Son. <laughs> well, as I understand it, that will is being contested, but I don't recall any mention of a son. <laughs> well... That was just like that. <laughs> Judge Franklin, mm -hmm. Mrs. Hilda Tilden, you are no doubt familiar with Section 3, Paragraph A of the Civil Justice Code of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, which states, and I quote, a tenant of an apartment may break his lease if the landlord fails to fix up the place the way the tenant wants. That's uh, fairly close. Mrs. Tilden, but the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania doesn't have a civil justice code. Well, when are we going to get one? Tuesday. <laughs> Listen, you little punk, you like a face full of mace? All right, Mrs. Tilden, just, just calm down. Calm down? My toilet's been running for three years in the landlord will <laughs> Did you jiggle the handle? <laughs> Yeah, Fatso back here is a plumber. Uh, I ain't doing nothing till this estate thing is settled. Actually, we can trace our legal system straight back through English common law, right back to Roman law. In fact, most of our legal terms are Latin in origin. The very word legal is from lex legis, meaning law. 37,500. <laughs> My salary is a matter of public record. I don't want to discuss it here. Okay, 42.5. See, either talk about something pertinent or get out of here. All right, okay. I'll give you pertinent. Okay, like, see. Okay, so, like, about, I guess a couple months ago, I bought a new motorcycle, you know? And, like, uh, I guess I had it a couple weeks, and I could, um, it fell apart on me, right? So, so, okay, I go back to the manufacturer, you know, and, like, I expect them to replace it, and they start giving me, like, a lot of flack. Get this, get this, they said I had no right in a public campground jumping over Winnebago's. That's it, I'm, uh, I'm getting a headache. I, I... 
I can't listen to any more of this leaky toilets, Howard Hughes, how much money do I make? I thought you were law students. 41,000. <laughs> All right, class is dismissed. Go on, get out of here. Move. Good night, Judge. Good night, Judge Franklin. Class is dismissed. Yes, I know. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. All right. I, I'd just like to tell you that this class is important to some people. It takes years to get through night law school. I admire these people. Good. You must know them better than I do. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me. Am I in your way? Yes, you're standing right in the door. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize. Oh, forget it. It happens all the time. May I see you to your car? Oh, my dad wouldn't let me drive tonight. <laughs> See you home? No, no, thanks. I don't deserve any more attention than you gave any of the others. I'm sorry if I if I seemed a little insensitive in class. You see, I'm a very important judge. I could see that. Good night, Judge Franklin. Excuse me, just left my sweater. It was a gift from uh you know who? Well, if it isn't Mr. Ed. Back off, Boris. <laughs> Rough night in the halls of Ivy? No, it's fine, just fine. What's on the docket for today? An inheritance case. Not a fat guy with a plunger, is it? Thank good. Thank you, you're teaching an Emmanuel Edwards. Just for one night, Jack. Why, it must have been great for those night students to have a guy like you teaching. Mm. Bet that class was packed to the rafters. There were no rafters, Jack. As a matter of fact, there weren't more than 15 or 20 people there. Ah! <laughs> I pulled 44 to a Tupperware party on Monday night. That's not a fair comparison. You can't buy that stuff in the store. Judge Franklin, what can I say? You can say you're sorry. You can say you're getting out of town. You can say you're never coming back in here again. Sure. Try to pretend you're not happy to see me. Get him out of here. Will you be driving yourself tonight, or shall I pick you up? Mario, the class was a fiasco. It went very poorly. They loved you. Yeah. Look at these student review cards. What are these? These are the student comment cards on the teacher. Look. Tour de force. <laughs> Stunning. Good evening. Well, this, this is, this is fairly accurate. <laughs> it doesn't tell the whole story. And now for the best part. A check for 1260. You can keep the money, Mario. I'm I'm not a teacher. You are according to these cards. I don't know how to relate to those students. Judge, you were only there one night. Yeah. You know, I did talk to one young girl. I'll bet. She seemed to have a real interest in the law. Judge, I went to a night law school. If I had a few teachers like you, I'd probably be a lawyer now instead of an ordinary everyday run of the mill court reporter. Don't put yourself down, Jack. Well. It would have just been nice for you to have taught those people, that's all. The judge has already agreed to teach for two nights. He'll teach for two nights. He's a man of his word, right? I have always known him to be. Don't worry, Mario. He's a man of honor. If he said he'd be there, he'll be there. Unless he too high hat to mingle with the common man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on, Mario. A young Maury Capehart. <laughs> Judge Franklin. How'd you know it was me? Your aftershave arrived 10 seconds before you did. Oh. Well, they say that blind people have a highly developed sense of smell. For instance, you're wearing Macho Mist by Fabergé. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wearing Man Song by Shulton. I'm surprised you came back. Well, didn't you hear about my reviews? I'm a hit. Besides, I was shamed into coming back. I'm glad you're here. 
You seem like someone who could really help this class. Well, so far, you're the only one who seems to even be paying attention. And I'm the worst student. Oh, come on. You seem to have a real interest in the law. Oh, I do. But unfortunately, that's not enough. There's so much reading and writing to do, I, I can't seem to keep up. Blind people can do a lot of things, but I'm not sure this is one of them. Oh, sure you can. 45,000. <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> chicken feed, chicken feed. You must be making a fortune for coming here. That's right, Zeke. I'm getting a million dollars a night. <laughs> I'll be getting more than that when my dad's will is settled. <laughs> God, I love that man. You know, he used to take me flying in the spruce goose. We had some great times together. There is some doubt as to whether Howard Hughes had a son. You know that, don't you? There's no doubt in my mind. Judge Grayson, I'd like permission to leave a little early tonight. I'm sorry, Mrs. Tilden. Permission denied. This is a law class. Tonight we're gonna cut out the nonsense and get down to business. Everybody sit down. Ooh, I just love a man that takes charge. Now, the name of this class is Beginning Law. So let's begin at the beginning. What on earth are you people doing here? Let's start with you, Z. Why do you want to be a lawyer? Why did you? Because the law always held a fascination for me. I saw it as a profession in which I could serve and at the same time better myself. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Mrs. Tilden? I thought it would be a good place to meet men, but I was wrong. Stanley? Well, you all know why I'm here. I expect quite a tussle with the Mormons and those Las Vegas people. <laughs> well, that's just great. Let me tell you people something. The legal profession is as hotly competitive as anything you can imagine. Brilliant, dedicated, hard-working people are pouring out of the law schools of this country every year. And if you're not ready to compete with them on every level, then you might as well just get up and walk out of here right now, because frankly, you're wasting your time. Wait, wait a second, Nancy. Where are you going? Thank you for your advice, Judge Franklin. I've learned more here tonight than I have all semester. No, you misunderstood my comments. I understood perfectly. Excuse me a minute. I, I want to see that Nancy gets out all right. She's, she's a little blind. <laughs> Open those textbooks and start reading. Page one. <laughs> Boy, I'm fired up now. <laughs> Well, thanks anyway for trying. That's six law schools, all no help. Nice try, Judge. I guess you're just out of luck. I can't believe that law school material isn't on tape. Or Braille, at least. You know, I've known some blind lawyers before. Ah, yes, but they, they had assistance, Jack. They had financial aid. This girl has nothing. She lives alone. She has no money. And she goes to Ed's law school. What am I going to tell her? I said I could help her. There's a girl outside, uh, Nancy Kernway. Claims she's blind. <laughs> she is blind, Miss Rubner. Didn't you see her cane? What does she want around here? She's one of my students. Are your students going to start dropping in all the time? Maybe. Well, I don't know that we can have that. Well, I know that we can. Show her in. Hello. This way, please. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Miss Rubner. And this is Jack Terwilliger over here. Hello, I'm Jack Terwilliger over here. How are you? <laughs> She's not deaf, Jack. <laughs> Gee, it was too bad that you left early last night. We had one hell of a class. Hilda Tilton and Stanley Hughes in the mock courtroom battle. No low contenderies, objections flying all over the room. No good news, huh? I didn't think there would be. I've been on the... I've been on the phone all morning, Nancy. There's so many things a bright young girl like you could do. I just always wanted to be a lawyer. Me too. Well, what do you do? Oh, uh, I'm the court reporter. And you don't like it? Oh, I like it fine. It's just that I've been doing it for so long, I can do it with my eyes closed. 
<laughs> Jack, is there any reason a blind person can't be a court reporter? Gee, Judge, I don't think so. I mean, you have to go to school for a year or two, but it's not like studying law. Nancy, what do you think? You'd be in the courtroom, you'd be part of the process. Oh, it sounds exciting. Exciting? Why, that's not the half of it. I mean, without a court reporter, Nancy, why, there's just no point in even having a trial, right, Judge? Well, the judge is the one pivotal person in the court, isn't it? I don't know, Judge. Sometimes I think it's the reporter. Are you serious? Oh, Nancy. This is Miss Rubner speaking again. <laughs> How do you feel about the court reporter business? Well, I'd love to give it a try. Well, this case is closed. Next. Oh, Judge Franklin, I, I could kiss you. Well, I'm right here. <laughs> well, you're a very handsome man, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> well, this is got. all very nice, but we have a lot of work to do. This is not an employment office, and this man is a judge, not a teacher. Not true, Red. I'm going to be teaching that class the remainder of this semester. Whatever for? I need the 1260. <laughs> Besides, I'm rather enjoying it. It's all very nice for you to help this young lady, but I will not see these chambers become a haven for every stray you might come across in your nocturnal wanderings. Rest assured, <laughs> Miss Rubner, anyone who works here will be necessary. Hey, Judge, how you doing? Hi, Zeke. <laughs> okay, so, so what, what is it? Just that little window in the back there? That's right. <laughs> who is this? This is another one of my students. Oh, dear God. <laughs> All right, now we're going to proceed just as if this were a real trial. Stanley, Mr. Hughes, you may examine the witness. Boy, you're in big trouble. You better believe it. <laughs> You don't threaten the witness, you just ask him a question. <laughs> Where were you on the night of the third? <laughs> Let me stop you right here. This is a property settlement. It's not important where Zeke was on the night of the third. I just always want to ask somebody that question. <laughs> now that you've got it out of your system, see if you can find a relevant question. All right. How did you first come into possession of said property? Um, a friend of my brother's gave it to me. Objection, Your Honor. I want grounds, Mrs. Tilden. Grounds? <laughs> you can't object without a reason. <laughs> Proceed, Mr. Hughes. Normally, Your Honor, the death penalty would be way out of line in a case like this. <laughs> Normally it would, Mr. Hughes. This is a property settlement. I got a question. You can't ask a question. You're the witness. How much would a lawyer like Stanley here make? Thank <laughs> you. 